What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to another video of Rhymes Raj. Too much excitement today, not only for the tattoo, but something else. What are vloggers more excited for? Is it a fresh coffee which a vlogger wants? Ah, to kickstart his day, this fresh mushroom omelette. Or is it a watch which gets a vlogger excited like this G-Shock which is Bluetooth enabled? I'm showing off because this is my new watch and if you want a review, comment below and I shall do that because this is a rocking watch. Well, it's none of the above. It's the camera. So this is the camera which I was waiting for and finally it's repaired. Yes, it works completely fine and you guys can see it's got a service sticker and now it does come for extended warranty and thanks for this rose because finally I can shoot now. So let's not waste time and let's go to Jeff studio and check what I'm getting inked. Yeah, so these are few products which are lined up for the product section. This helmet, it's actually a giveaway. Not one, not two, not five, maybe even ten. So stay tuned for the giveaway video. And right now, let's go. Alright guys, so I have reached Olem Church. Uh, this is in Malad and uh, Jeff's that new studio is right behind Okay, so I'm about to get ink and you guys already know that I even shaved my hand <laughs> It feels really funny to shave your hand uh, to get tattooed This is coffee day where I usually hang out and have coffee whenever I am at that new studio Okay guys, so this is where I'm gonna be sitting and getting house of pain. Yes, this is where the pain happens. Uh, this is few of the art which Jeff has put across. And if I'm not mistaken, there is my stuff also. There you go. If you've not seen this video where I got my first line tattooed from Jeff, uh, it's right here, you can see that. And it says, what's your story? and pretty cool studio pretty simple and neat yeah, so he's got the laughing buddha and um, this is where actually he does the stencil so that's jeff's logo actually and uh, that's so cool what he's put on top yeah, it's a really really cute store so the basic body tattoos what jeff does is behind this i'll show you all that's also one of his work i guess so Jeff is working on my design now and so this is where he keeps all his machines and everything. The place is very clean. People are getting some body tattoo like maybe a back, leg or any certain area. So he has this uh, complete closed kind of chamber. Uh, let's show the people what I am actually getting done. Okay, so that's my stencil. This is basically uh, a wing which I wanted. I wanted this wing to be more uh, large but apparently my forearm it will be too much wrap around. So we are sticking to this design. So we are having a pollination uh, feel which I like and guys you guys already know who this guy is. He has the cafe racer boy. This is a sugar candy skull so we will be having some colors in the flower and stuff like that. Well, this is kind of the design. Uh, we are extending the wing a little bit, and it's not advisable to actually get tattooed on the bone. So the face where the, the rider basically the helmet is here, the wing is here, the Polynesian art is on top 
The wing is gonna flare. Jeff is gonna do free hand. By the way, free hand you have to be very careful. But Jeff is a good artist. This is done by free hand somewhat a decade back. But you can make out the lining is not that even. But I don't care. I like it and I had it. And now this one's getting nailed on. And also pain gonna start. I'm already shitting breaks because I know it hurts. I already have experience. These are the needles which will be used today. Um, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it that close, but um, this is actually uh, the shading one, okay? And this is the main one which will be for the outlining and basically killing my skin. Both the needles are packed. Uh, the expiry is 2022, so you have to make sure. This is the third needle, so basically there'll be three needles used. Uh, for my tattoo. So these are the three needles. Uh, besides needle being uh, fresh and uh, properly in date, you have to also make sure the tip is replaced also which is very important. Um, yeah, if you see the starting machine is completely packed with a new plastic now because the new plastic is basically and obviously he has even sanitized the machine uh, which is very important. So these are some uh, hygiene uh, care which is important. Even his ink uh, dispenser is brand new you put it in front of me so these are a small dispenser which will have all the colors i am going uh, for black and gray but i do have a blue and a red uh, feel to my which is more of a sugar candy skull i'm going to be working with three uh but damn thick needles uh, and let's see how they are let's get started If you're talking about pain, it's like someone gave you a motorcycle and said no gears and there's a wall on the left side. Your plan is to take your elbow, rub it all the way for 4 hours, continuous on the wall, scrape the wall with your bike, add your elbow out, that's the pain. Holy Tell me you're coming to that area. If you will tell you, you'll be scared. Oh, 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 it was next level. Oh, pain. Someone asked me, can you rank this pain? One out of ten. I said twenty. How does it feel? Telling your enemy, here's the knife. As many times you want to stab my arm, please do it. Want another one? <laughs> I can go on giving a blade to a carpenter and saying, Hey, don't furnish the table. Why don't you sculpt my arm? One more? Where is it? One more? And by the way, guys, Calvin's here. Uh, who's chilling? <laughs> there he is. And I think he's coming in the frame and he can come over on the right. That's it. That's it. Calvin can meet here. There's he cut his head. Perfect. And Calvin uh, is a guy who had the tattoo of 90s kid. Oh. With a lot of people on Instagram asked me and that was this guy. And he had told me that forearm tattoo is not that easy. He was correct. <laughs> he was correct. And when Jeff puts yeah. a kind of lotion and starts scrubbing your hand like the motion. <laughs> it's basically putting salt on a wound and saying, how do you feel bro? There, there, that's the salt on a wound feeling. 
Uh, when is Krabs it? Uh, is that a break time? No, you can take a break. Uh, okay, so guys, I talk about paint now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but so oh, it looks neat. Oh, okay, so neat. Neat. Can you imagine this is just thirty-five percent done? I still have what four, five hours left. <laughs> huh? And obviously, I've not slept since yesterday. Uh, making sure I'm having a lot of um, cranberry juice. Um, yeah, milk to keep coolness. I had my grub also, yeah. and a few biscuits, and chocolates, and you guys can make out that I'm tired. This is all what it takes to get a tattoo. My 85% tattoo completed. Uh, trust me, it was painful. I'll be honest. And what? It's five in the morning, and um, so if you see the shading is kind of done. Uh, looks really nice. I don't know if the camera can because it's low light condition, but you guys can see that the shading is nicely done. Now uh, the sugar candy skull, which is actually me with the beard and the helmet riding a bike. Uh, we'll have colors in the flower. We'll have a little bit color on the racing stripe on the um, helmet, and then we are good to go. So I'm flying high with freedom. That's what it is. So let's get some color in and let's go. Okay guys, so this was my entire tattoo vlog. Uh, this is how the design is. Yes, it was crucial. We spent like some 12, 13 hours, but the work hours could be around what 10? Yeah. Easily around 10 hours. Lewis took good breaks. So. Yeah, we took good breaks. You know, it was very important for him and me. Um, and he's already explained me what the tattoo care is. So I'm gonna first go and put it under hot water and do my basic stuff. And we are extremely tired, so definitely not going to take much time. But any questions, I think subscribers would definitely like to know what is Jeff is all about. So uh, this studio is in Malad, and Jeff is a really good artist. You can see that what kind of stuff it is. This is my imagination mixed with his imagination. He understood I wanted a basic, uh, you know, a wing, uh, which I feel is a sign of freedom. It does have Polynesian art on it, which I really like, uh, and definitely does have my uh, sugar candy skull wearing a helmet because I like to ride. So, fantastic job! I'm pretty happy with it. And the question is that what kind of uh, genre Jeff likes to uh, tattoo, and if you want, would like to speak something to my subscribers? Uh, I enjoy doing all kind of tattooing, but uh, my favorite is watercolor. Okay. I like to play with watercolors, but then we Indians having the British skin, yeah. we don't really get to uh, play with colors with all uh, people. But then I try my best to put right. out colors because I feel they add uh, a life to the tattoo. Right. Because black and grey are good, but then colors are my favorite. Cool. Apart from that, I still like doing realistic stuff. Like that. Cool. So he's quite creative. Uh, literally, we we jacked our brains over this design to make sure that you look different. It's like one of the kind. No one ever has it. How many so, months did we spend? Probably? Yeah, we spent at least two three months. Easily two three months to discuss this design, and finally we did it. And uh, he's pretty cool. 
His studio is awesome. It's in Malad. All the details will be in the description. If you guys want to check out his Instagram, please check it out. You see his work. Also check out his Facebook page. And uh, that's why we did this vlog so that uh, you know you guys could know what's happening. And now I've got to go home because it's six in the morning. So today is the next day of the tattoo. It's healing now already, mm -hmm. as you guys can see. Uh, now the healing process and the peeling process will take place. Uh, obviously, most of the people who have tattoos will understand what I'm trying to say. But this is how it looks. I thought I'll take a small clip of the next day, how it looks and how it feels. Well, there is no pain now. That's the best part about a tattoo. You mostly get the pain when you're getting inked. You don't get hurt next day or something. You get a little bit of burning sensation whenever you put this cream and i am taking care of that so i'm putting some lotus extract cream which is very good and i'm not using vaseline this time and this is how it looks and so i finally have a wing to ride so i hope you like this video and if you like it please press the thumbs up button and as usual eat well sleep well be good signing off ride is raj